So we gotta replace the upper side engine mount. You take out these two bolts here. One, two. Then the 10 millimeter that's right here. You take out that also. But uh, make sure you jack up the car. Make sure it's the engine is jacked up. Uh, jack it up. Um, I usually jack it up in the J pipe right here in the middle. I put the jack under the J pipe and I just jack it up. Uh, some people might not agree with jacking it up under the J pipe. Or you can just put a phone book under the top of the jack head and then just jack up the car. Um, yeah. Then just jack up the car under the oil pan with the phone book and the thing in order to jack it up. But I just jacked it up on the J pipe and did a good job and that's it. This one is super easy. It shouldn't take you long to do. And I just used um and this I took out the the oil I mean the power steering reservoir. It just slides up, you just lift it. And it comes right out of the slot. You just push it to the side, get a wrench. Just get a wrench. I have the wrench where the middle of the wrench moves and turns. You just use that wrench, put a breaker bar over the wrench, put it on the end of the wrench, like a pole or something, and then just pull. And it should just loosen the bolt just like that. It should just loosen it. That bolt should come right out. So once you do that, you, tight, you unloosen these first a little bit. Then you unloosen these, this one. You untighten this one. Then make sure you jack up the J pipe. First, make sure you jack up the J pipe so that the engine is held by the by the uh, the jack. And then you take out these two. This one, and then there's another bolt down here. That's it. And this mount comes right out. Um, if you can't slide in a new one, you just take the new one in. You just slide it in through here. Same way. Um, you uh, take this, you bolt this down, you bolt down this mount, you take this piece, the top piece here, you lay it back on top, put the th two bolts back in, and then you, you put the ground back, and then you bolt the top bolt back to this mount that's already bolted back, that you already put the bolts back for that, and these two bolts here. And then you put this bolt in, and then you tighten it. And that's it. You change your upper your upper arm mount. This one is actually really, really easy to change. So this shouldn't take you, for someone that knows a little bit about it, it shouldn't take you long to replace it because it's really, really easy. I already changed mine already, so I'm not going to take it out and, in order to do it again. But if I, if I get a TL... comes in I'll make a tutorial all the uh, you know take it out and everything in order to uh, show you how to do it better if you need me to take it out but I'm pretty much self-explanatory basically take out these bolts first one two three all right then you take this one out with a wrench then you unbolt it to bottom one two and you just slide out the power steering reservoir, and that's it, the mount out. But you gotta make sure, first make sure the car is jacked up from under, under the J-pipe. So the engine will hold up while, um, when you take out the mount. And that's it, slide the new mount in. You bolt down these two bolts, one and two here, one and two here. Then you bolt this bracket back on the top, one, two, and the ground. And then you slide this bolt back in and tighten it. These, I think the bottom ones are like 47. I think, yeah, these are 47, the bottoms. This is 47, and then these two are 40, I think. No, I think these are 47. And this is 40. And that's 47 on the bottom, I think. 
keep me quoted on that. But um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, this is really, really easy. You shouldn't have any problem changing it. Um, uh, if you have any questions, feel free to subscribe. And uh, if you have any questions, ask.